Hello YouTube. Um I'm here to do an update on my uh airsoft review. Um in my last airsoft review I reviewed uh the uh Black Ops uh airsoft gun. Um I've just found some a couple of issues with it. Uh first issue is <laughs> the butt cap on it is kind of um I can't think of the word right now. Stubborn. Um the one ma big main thing about this gun that I've noticed that's a big pain is that when else does it take forever to get the freaking CO2 in? But then, once you get the CO2, I don't know if you can see inside of there. Guess not. Oh, wait, hold on. See that pin down there? Like, down in there? See that pin? That has to line up just right, or else you're not going to be able to get the gun to fire with the CO2. Which, that's the only big thing I've found. Um, because sometimes the CO2 will get jammed. I had a CO2 cartridge in my clip about four months. It was punctured. Never hissed. To let me know it, it was punctured. And I just took that uh, cartridge out today. It's taking quite a while. Um, another thing about this is, um, Sometimes the uh the EVs will get jammed uh up inside of here. It's not that big of an issue, um if you have a uh a jamming rod. But uh that's just uh one of the few things that I've noticed wrong with it. Um but while I'm here, I'm also going to do a couple of other reviews. Uh, like, for one, you've seen uh, what the cops carry their handcuffs in. Obviously, this is not one. This is my makeshift. Um, what I have here are the, uh, the true spec. Um, keep forgetting. That's weird. Um, true spec, uh, handcuffs. Um, I've actually broken one pair of handcuffs, and hold on, I'm gonna see if I can find those to show you guys what I mean by when I say I broke them. One second. There. Okay, so these were. My uh, perfectly good and functioning pair of hinged uh, Smith and Wessons. The reason I say were is because uh, yes, bottom jaw does still work, still works like it should. But uh, the top jaw uh, should not be able to do that without a key in there. So, uh, yeah, I broke this actually a while ago. I just never around to try to get them out of place. But, um, but for these, uh, you want to make sure that your, uh, your key will, uh, will, um, work with the double lock. Uh, you want to make sure that your key will disengage the double lock. Um, it will actually unlock the handcuffs. The only thing about these is watch. Lock in place. Which is what you want your handcuffs to do. Like I'm gonna use a broken set for this. What you don't want them to do is you don't want your single bar 
two. Run in. So that into the uh, basin. Because if that is happening, either it's been bent, and don't try to take pliers to try to bend it. Please don't do that, because you'll just weaken the metal more than it already is from this original bending. Um, I actually have these on my uh, EDC, which for those of you who don't speak cop, uh, is um, everyday carry. Like if I'm going, like if I'm gonna go like on like a camping trip or something, I'll take my EDC with me just as I have it. Um, I have this actually, which is um, it's just a knife case. That I've kind of since I don't usually carry a knife, since I don't usually carry a knife in it, I decided, hey, when it gets dark out, if I'm still walking around, what am I gonna need? So I usually have that on my EDC. Um, I used to have a collapsible baton. I'm not really quite sure what happened to that. And I just have the case for it. But, um, oh, uh, this is something I never go on uh, trips without, like camping trips. Uh, this is the uh, UDAP uh, Mugger Fogger. Try saying that takes three times fast. The Mugger Fogger. Um, it says the world's hottest pepper spray formula. Uh, three million Scoball heat units. Yikes. Uh. Effective up to 15 feet, and uh, this is a small size. Uh, yeah, I'd hate to see what the uh, what the large size looks like. I'd hate to see that. Um, I wouldn't want to run into that. I wouldn't be able to do some of it. Um, uh, this is always um good to have with you. Um, it's just another flashlight. Ooh. Uh, the one thing I like about this is you don't have to change batteries in it at all, and it runs out of battery. Because, hold on. because you see this little thing here that drops down. That's what you use to charge it. Watch. So I usually have that with me. That way, in case my first one runs out, I can always just grab my rechargeable. Uh, my gun. I don't usually take it with me at all, if ever. Uh, which I haven't really taken it with me yet. Um, now I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go get my, uh, my rifle and I'm going to show you guys some things I've noticed about that that it doesn't really want to work with. So hold on one second. Hey guys, uh, okay, so I got my hunting rifle here for a sec. Um, so, basically this is my hunting rifle. Um, safety is on it, which actually the safety for this is, I don't know if you can see it, but it's this little thing right here. When that's out, it's on safety. When it's pushed in, you're ready to fire. Um, it has a scope. 
um, 4x32. Uh, the one thing I don't like about this is it takes a lot of power to get ready to fire. And you gotta sit it down, brace it with your foot, and you have to push it down. I'm not gonna do that because it makes a really loud bang when I shoot in the house. Don't. I, by the way, don't do that. Uh, when it's on safety still, it, um, you can cock it. When it's off safety, you can still get it ready to shoot, but it'll put itself on safety. Um. This is really um a fairly well weighted gun. Um the only thing I have to say bad about it is the um the way you have to fire it. So now I use a bipod with it, which I'm not gonna worry about getting it out right now. But uh but um uh Um, uh, the, uh, the ammo is kind of weird. Uh, the pound is kind of weird out of this. Um, the little, like, pellet type things are freaky looking. They're um, called, uh, they're called different things. You have hunting rounds, you have different things. Anyway, but, um, yeah, so, uh, I'll see you guys on my next chat. That's all I got for now. If y'all want to know anything else about it, uh, post in the comments below, and uh, I'll get back to you. Bye-bye.